Hey YouTube, part two of building a fish room. First I can say that uh, this is a hobby that me and my wife are doing together. Uh, something that we both enjoy or are enjoying currently. We'll see how it goes after a while when we're doing these water changes and trying to get rid of these fish. But anyways, we're enjoying it. Um, we came up with a name. We're going to call our... Uh, Call us JM Chicago Land Cichlids. Uh, J for Jason, that's myself, and my wife Michelle. JM Chicago Land Cichlids. So, as you can see from the last video, we got the white painter down there, we got the rack up against the wall, we got some fish tanks going. Uh, that white took like four or five coats, as I was talking in that last video. Still working on painting the rest of the room. Got some trimming done. But main thing was get the racks up, get the tanks going, buy more fish, and uh, we did that. So this video I was going to go over real quick uh, on the lights. This is what light bulbs are using. Eco bulb, the uh, daylights, that gives you the truest white. Uh, using 60 waters, actually only 13 waters. Got 14 of them on this rack. Uh, it's less than 200 watts, so it's pretty efficient. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive to do too. I think it was one roll of uh, 50 foot of Romex and I bought 14 of these Single ball holders. They're made out of plastic. You see them in closets uh, garage roofs uh, Pretty generic. They're round. They're like four and a half inches big. I took them to my chop saw Chopped them off. So when you look at them from straight ahead, you don't see it also chopped off the side so the Romex can run in series from ball to or from fixture to fixture. Pretty much running straight through. There's a with a uh, ball in it. Plenty of light. Um, less than 200 watts. Over the 30s down there. I got two bulbs above it. Big thing is the uh, bottom set of tanks. The first row one, row two. Well, I'll use the uh, cichlid mix uh, for a substrate. Top tanks are going to be our uh, newborn fry tanks. Nothing on the bottom. I do have a rock in there, but... So nothing on the bottom. The light's going to shine up through them just like it is. Actually, it lights up a little bit better than the uh, tank below it. So, did that to avoid having some kind of gaudy system with lights up above. Uh, I think it's working out well. Uh, I got these mounted up there, those aluminum uh, angle irons that will hold my PVC for my air system. Uh, I'm waiting for an order right now from Ken's Fish. Uh, I'll probably get that going tomorrow and then I'll do a video on that. Uh, so real quick, I don't have a lot of time. I uh, just want to go over what I bought yesterday and what we currently have. Uh, Guy on Craigslist was uh, changing his inventory, selling a bunch of different fry. So, about like 83 fry, different sizes, all the way from uh, newborns up to inch and a halfers. Uh, this tank up here, that's our tank of uh, Nair, Nair, Nair Eyes. I screw up these uh, names all the time; they're so hard to pronounce. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jack up a couple more before I'm done. So, it's forewarning you. Uh, we only have nine. I put like 40 of them in this tank uh, after our second one had our, our we got our second batch. I uh, got up the next morning and they're almost all dead. I pulled the nine out, uh, got them healthy and put them back in. They're doing fine. They've been in there for like three, four days. I did have a seeded sponge in there, so I don't know what the problem was. Um, here's what we got yesterday: uh, small fry. Take them fry burby eurekas, I guess you want to call them. Let's see, I'm going to mess these up. Uh, these are some more that we got yesterday. Uh, I can see them down there. Got three red zebra umbunas and 13 ruby red peacocks. Uh, three quarter to one inch size. Actually, there's some real small guys in there. Uh, next tank is our breeding tank of eureka reds. Uh, they're not fully mature and breeding yet, but we're getting close. Uh, one male, four females. They're always hiding. Uh, and this nut in here is another one I got. Um, ten dragon bloods. There's little bitty guys. 
uh, 30 gallon below down here, 19 Red Empress. Uh, you see here about three quarters of an inch. I let them grow out in that tank. Over here is another uh, batch we got from uh, this guy. Four albino strawberries. Let's see if we can see one. Yeah, there he is. Um, six red top. Uh, Pistochromus. And he's telling me they're F1 Madoko flame tails. Uh, the, the big guys in there. They're about inch and a half to two inches. Uh, down those are the Mason I group. Uh, I got about 12 of them anywhere from three quarters of an inch to two inches. Hopefully, get these guys breeding uh, here soon. And this is another some more we got from that guy, Lions Cove uh, and Bunas, seven of them. Over here is our breeding tank of uh, our only proven breeding group, uh, Nair Eyes. See her down there hiding. Just got this tank moved over today. Hopefully, uh, fresh water change. We see some breeding. Uh, it's a little deal I made to fill tanks. I will put a ball valve on there, but it's a hook up to a garden hose. 75, still haven't done nothing with it. Uh, I actually just picked up a 50 today, too. Uh, probably put some tanks on this wall here in the future. Uh, but for now, this is what we got. Still working. So we've got the lights up. Uh, got a bunch of fry now, so it actually feels like we got a, uh, a good variety of fish. I think there's 12 or 13 different varieties all together. Uh, we will be adding more tanks. I got a 29 and three more 10s in the other room. Um, got spots for like Probably looking for another three, three or four 29s. I'm buying everything off Craigslist. Find them here and there, get them as we go. Uh, as we get them, we'll film. We'll move some of these guys out of the nets once I get some more 10 gallons going up there, but I'm waiting for my uh, air pump that I run everything. As you can see, I got like three different air pumps going now. So stay tuned. Next video will show our uh, air system going, hopefully. And uh, like us and uh, subscribe if you would, please. Thanks.